Hey guys, Jaws Short Reviews here, and today we're going to take a look at the Transformers Studio Series Core Class Ravage. So, here he is in his uh, odd cube thing mode. I, I don't know what this is. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's a thing that exists. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I have no clue why this is the alt mode, but... Oh well, honestly, uh, so it's kind of meant to fit in with something that we'll, that we'll get into later. I mean, I think you guys already know, uh, if you already know the origins of Ravage, but, um, yeah, so, anyways, uh, yeah, so this is the second final of the first wave of the Studio Series Core Class figures, uh, along with, you know, Shockwave, which I reviewed a couple days ago, so, yeah, but anyways, you yeah, know, let's take a look at the alt mode much closer as you can see you know kind of weird visible heads in drama of course he's like mm. <laughs> um but yeah it, and all of it, all it is is just you know ravage just in the cube and that, that that's it <laughs> um but yeah hey so so not that bad though and again hey it is what it is i mean I will say it does doesn't look as ridiculous as Soundwave's alt node, but you know, still, just, it, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much it for that. It's you know a cube. So yeah. Anyways, now for accessories, it comes with these two little uh, things, little blasters. I don't know, and they can store in alt mode on these holes right here. Actually, no, uh, right here, like right here, in the robot, or, yeah, kind of robot animal mode, whatever, you saw right here, but on the thighs, but right here in the alt mode, let me just store right in there. And there you go. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> it is what it is, uh, in it makes it look a little more cubic because, you know, there's, like, this kind of round part here that's, like, eh, kind of ruins that. So, yeah. And the other accessory is this little cannon tip here, which kind of, you know, ironically looks like the cannon from the G1 sound wave. And we'll get more into that later, but, uh, yeah, that can just attach right in here. And there you go. Uh, yeah, that, 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 there's, there's his alt mode. Uh, yeah, not, not the best, but, again, it's kind of like some little cube tank, I guess you could say, but, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for that, so, yeah, but anyways, now for comparison, uh, here he is with Shockwave, which is an actual tank, <laughs> even though it's a Cybertronian tank, hey, at least it's a tank, it's a whatever, whatever that is, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. For that, and now we get into the big part that you guys have all wanted to see. So, yes. And, like I was saying before, this, the cube is kind of to serve a purpose, and this, the purpose is what we're about to see here. So, raising up the camera here, uh, we got the Soundwave figure, more specifically, you know, the Steel Series Bumblebee movie Soundwave. And, yes, now first of all, in order to do this, you gotta remove this can right here, which we'll talk about, uh, actually, you know what, right now. So, yeah, so if you're wondering, you know, it looks familiar, yeah, that's because on the G1 Soundwave toy, the tips of his gun, like, I believe it came with three of these, and, you know, you could use one that could attach into his gun, and, you know, so, kind of has a more proper looking, uh, blaster look, but of course, on this guy, he comes with a more generic gun, but... If you want to store this on Soundwave, especially when he's carrying Ravage, you could attach this into his, you know, shoulder cannon, like so, and there you have that. Now he's got an even longer cannon, and that kind of homages the G1, but even though that's not the right cannon, it's supposed to be in his blaster, but nonetheless, hey, still cool. But, um, yeah, but anyways, so, now for the part you've all been waiting for, Ravage storage. Wow. So... Yeah, my review of Soundwave, as I said, you know, you could store Ravage in here, but I didn't have a Ravage at the time, but now that I do, you know, we can just show how it works, so simply just 
tuck them in there, and yes, the little cans on the side just can store in there. And uh, just gotta make sure it's closed all the way. Okay, why isn't that closing? <laughs> the one time I'm trying to show, or wait, no, I think it's supposed to be in this way, yeah. Okay, now that's not closing. Why is it not closing? <laughs> it's kind of, uh, I don't know. Okay, th there we go. <laughs> Yeah, this is unfortunate the back panel is kind of sticking out a little bit. I think you can store them a bit better in there, but yeah. But anyways, um, but yeah, there you guys have the Soundwave storage for Ravage. <laughs> and yes, yeah, so and now you can recreate that epic moment in the Bumblebee movie where he ejects Ravage and he runs at Optimus. So that's pretty cool. So, yeah, uh, yeah so yeah, you could take him out pretty easily, you know, do that, or you can just open up this chest panel, and then push them out that way. Yeah, whatever works for you best is how you do things. So, yeah, there, guys. Have that. All right, let's remove this and get Soundwave out of the way. So, there you have that. All right, so now for transformations, I want to remove these cans here. And now for transformation, you just want to lift up this tailpiece, and then you want to lift down the, the little foot here. Another other foot over here, and they just want to untab the legs. There's these, like, yeah, let me focus. There's like these little posts here, and they tab into the little, you know, the little hole right here, and it does the same over here. And yeah, and then next, what you want to do is you want to for the hind legs, just want to untab this in a similar fashion. You know, there's a little port right here. And pegs right in that hole, and yeah, do it here as well. And once you got that, uh, oop, lift up the feet like that. And then next, uh, there's a little piece right here. I just want to remove that. That's also something. Yeah, it's another accessory. Not sure what this is. Just you know, some something. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So once you got that, then next you just want to raise up the tail piece. And I'll stand right there, and then next we just want to lift up or lift back this the leg sections, and at the same time you want to rotate the legs around, and I'll just clip in, or does it clip in? I forgot. Wait, and now you got to do it like this, and then that, and then there we go. There we go. So there you have the legs there, and then next we just want to raise up the head. Like so. Let's focus more there. And then next, just want to uh, lower down the front arms. And once you got that, uh, we're not quite done yet. But well, basically we are done. But we just got a couple more things to attach. Actually, yeah. <laughs> so once you got that, there you have Ravage in his cat dog whatever mode. And pretty cool, uh, yeah. Or wait, don't, don't we have to? Think? Oh yeah, for the final piece of transformation, boo parts for me. Yeah, I know. Just want to attach that ram piece from earlier right here. There we go. Now it's complete. So yeah, there. Now there we have Ravage in his robot mode. Or yeah. <laughs> um, I gotta say, pretty nice job uh, Hasbro did. And you know, it's got lots of posability and. Quite complex transformation, like even more than I initially thought. Um, you know, considering its core class and you know it's ravaged, but they pull off things pretty well. So, yeah, but anyways, let's take a look at the detail. Pretty nice. You got the head sculpt perfectly matches from the movie. You got that nice uh, shiny metallic blue, and then you got the red. Even the Decepticon logo paint there, too. <laughs> and, yeah. Very, very nice. But, uh, yeah. So, that's pretty much it for that. So, now for articulation. The head can move up and down. The jaw opens about this far. The uh, legs, the front legs, are on ball joints. So, you can move around a lot. And, and now just a little bit, the elbows do bend back and forth, the feet do move, the hind legs are also on ball joints, so they can kind of move in and out a little bit too. 
the knees do bend back and forth as well. Then there's like this little hinge joint like right in between. Like, you can also pose, I think that's kind of due to transformation. And of course the feet can move. And the tail can also move up and down. So, uh, yeah, pretty nice articulation for this guy. Quite complex, like you know, probably one of the best articulations that we got on a Ravage figure. So, yeah. Um, yeah, now for, yeah, accessories. We got, obviously, you know, this little can piece, and that can attach right in the hole, right down there. And, um, yeah, that looks pretty ridiculous, but, uh, yeah. And then, you also got these two little gun pieces right here, and that can go, those can go right into these holes right here that I was pointing out earlier on the thighs. So, once we got that all... And figure now we got a nice uh, kitty pew pew action going on, and I gotta say, not too not too shabby. It looks pretty cool actually. It's pew pew, but um, yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that. So yeah, I think I think in the movie, I'm not sure if in the movie he had all these weapons. I don't think he had the belly one. I'm not sure about the leg ones, but yeah. Either way, still pretty cool that Hasbro included all that. Makes it a little more worth the price. And, yeah. So, anyways, now for... Now for comparison. Here is with the... Core Class Shockwave. Also his Wavemate. There's that. And here is with the Netflix Ravage. I will say the proportions on this one are a lot better than this one because even though I wasn't, you know, or I mean, even though I wasn't that, you know, picky on this uh, War for Cybertron one, like initially, now it looks like garbage compared to the, you know, Studio Series one because, you know, actually it looks more realistic and could compare to this. You got the skinny little legs, tiny head, and giant thighs and all. It's like, what's going on? But, um, yeah. But still, you know, not, you know, still like this one, especially the alt mode. So. And there's that. And finally, here he is with his good old master sound wave. So, there you guys have the comparisons. And there you guys have my review for the Transformers Studio Series Core Class Ravage. Obviously from the Bumblebee movie, you know, not to be confused with that Revenge of the Fallen Ravage, but, you know, you can kind of tell with the more G1 look. Um, yeah, so, overall, quite pleased with the, you know, the Ravage. It's probably, like, probably my favorite Ravage figure, actually, that I own, honestly. Um, again, there's probably even better Ravages, but we'll see. I mean, again, like, they don't have to master Ravage for me, because, again, he's, he's a, you know, nice little kitty robot thing, but, um, yeah, so, overall, pretty nice. Uh, pretty good wave as well. Shockwave is, you know, a pretty nice core class figure, and... Again, I really do dig this Ravage, so pretty pretty good start for the Core Class and Studio Series, so yeah. But uh, yeah, so anyways guys, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, share for more, and comment down below what you guys think of this figure. So as always guys, till all are one.